first time all day. I think that's cool. But uh, a great job that the club did in, in uh, putting on this event. And I was really amazed at the production of it. Not all, everything went off so smooth. We pulled in, there was somebody there to tell us where to go. Uh, I didn't want to go there particularly, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just parked in a reasonable place. Anyway, uh, it, it's interesting about the, uh, the the MG thing because, of course, I'm from the old times, the old time, and uh, in 1952, when I, I bought my first MG, I was uh, by Kurt Sackham happenstance, why I happened to land in Salt Lake City, and uh, I bought a 1952 MG TD. And uh, in about two days, away, we started a race team, and there were 11 cars in town. And uh, some of the fellows, they sent their cars to the West Coast and had them work done and build engines and all that. And I didn't have any money for what I know about that. But, so I sent to England and got books. I sent to Germany and got tools, and I could read. So uh, I, I started this thing because I saw what the dealer was going to do. And then I decided my car would stay home and I would work on it. Because at that time, nobody really wanted to know anything about those funny little cars. So uh, I had quite a life with, with MGs. I had a 52. I had, I think, probably two or three more 52s. And I had a 51 and a 51. Uh, finally, I kept trading up. I'd fix them and sell them and fix them and sell them. And uh, I traded up and uh, got one that I owned totally. Whereupon I went to Pebble Beach. And uh, I saw Ken Miles in his MG special. And uh, people know about Ken Miles. Yeah. <laughs> Ken Miles, one of the probably the greatest MG driver I've ever known or known of. Anyway, uh, I saw what he did, so I immediately came home and said, "Well, I'll just tear the body off and I'll build an MG special because that seems like a reasonable thing to do." And I own the car. So I bought seventy-five dollars and bought a thirty-nine Studebaker to drive and uh, made my MG special. And that went along pretty well. Uh, I learned things. Uh, learned a lot about the engine, which I didn't know anything of in the beginning. And uh, we had a club that uh, got bigger and bigger. And it was mostly MGs because you had a choice of a Hillman or a Jaguar, a Morris Minor, or, uh, or an MG. And the MG seemed to win off most folks. So um, we had this uh, deal up in. Uh, in uh, can't remember the name of the town, Wyoming, Rock, anyway. And we had a, uh, a concourse, a rally there, a hill climb, and uh, I took my empty special, and uh, I won them all. I, I won, I won the, the, uh, the hill climb, the rally, and I had lied, I was second in the concourse. <laughs> and uh, and on, the, on the way home, you know, I'm 25 years old, I'm a pretty smart guy, I know everything. <laughs> I know all of it, and uh, so I've been successful. I've been very successful. And what are you going to do? I mean, I know it all now. And so we're going then back down to Salt Lake, and uh, it was from Jackson Hole. I'm sorry about my memory, but anyway, there it is. And so you know, we got about halfway back, and there was a, a, a little town, and we uh, there was a shop there, and the fellow invited us all to stop by on the way home. So we go in, geez, there's a great black MG sitting there with a tunnel. <laughs> and the guys are all standing around and they say, yeah, hey, Cass, he said, watch this, have you ever seen anything like this? The guy goes over and he bumps the fender and the horn goes, boop, 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 boop. I said, oh, that's pretty neat, he's got an alarm on, yeah. <laughs> so, somebody goes over and said, no, watch this, it goes like bang, boop, 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 boop. I said, oh, yeah, let me tell you how that works. This event has got this string and it's got this pendulum and not a string and thing. Because I know it all. I'm 25. <laughs> and what else is there to learn? So I go on and on and on and on. And everybody, I see him smiling. Which should have been a clue. <laughs> Pretty soon he can sit. And the guy comes out from my bed and I'm a tongue cover. How do you like this? <laughs> 